This your boy, man. We back, man. It's going down, man. You know, all that, man. Boy, we be having some deep conversations, man. You know what I mean? And all, all we, we try to, we got a little hot topic we want to start off with, man. Just see how y'all really feel about this, man. Because, like, we done heard Miss Paula say, it's about that money, player. It's about that paper. But, is having that money don't actually satisfy you? Is that going to make you happy? Or is it going to take money plus? You know what I mean? And, and anything you do, you might be getting all this money. But, like Miss D said, there's a price to pay. Oh, yeah. It ain't free. It ain't you free. think you got it going on. <laughs> there's a price to pay. That, that ties I don't understand. What, 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 what? I don't, I don't get it. That ties into what you said, like, um, before we went to commercial about people being jealous and envious. Because right. they see, they, they, they're looking at you from the outside. And like you said, they don't know what's going on behind closed yeah. doors. You know, you, you might be this gorgeous woman with this nice body, with this dude with all this money and everything else. But behind closed doors, he turned into Mr. Iceman. You know, in front of your friends, he all of that. He gets your butt home and he the crap out of you right. oh, yeah, every yeah. night. Oh yeah, that's a price of that. But every morning you get up, you drive your bins, you got your red bottoms on, you know, you got your nice jewelry and dress on. But it's a price you're paying. It's definitely a price that you are paying. I mean, but that's that's talk when you growing up. Like even with your parents, you might get that allowance or whatever, or they might spend the money on you. But now they still expect you to do something. But they don't you know what I mean? Like when, you, when you're a child, you in school, that's your job, really. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's your right. job. So your parents even taking care of you or giving you that extra mm -hmm. because they expect something out of you. So how can you be a grown woman and you don't, you you that high up on yourself where you feel like, oh, I got it like that. He'll give me anything. And that you're not going, it's going to be a price to pay. No, no, no. Every single time. No, I, I mean, I. I get that. I never did. He didn't take it that far. I know that. I mean, well, there's a lot of women that feel like, oh, he just. D, D what kind of price you talking about? Do you 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 fidgeting with your arms folded? Like, what kind of price you talking about that you paid in that particular relationship that you spoke on? Well, I, I went from being uh, independent to dependent. Yeah. And yeah. that's the price. Yeah. Is, is it worth it? No. You know, because at the end of the day, a brand new Land Rover, Range Rover, BMW, Mercedes. If you in the dependent stage, mm -hmm. it ain't doing you no good. Because you have to depend on him to provide that for you. Yeah. You know, guess what I did? We're not together no more. We're still friends. I had to regain my independence. I gave him the Land Rover back, went to the car dealership, and bought me a Volkswagen Beetle. Politely moved out two weeks later and have not looked back. I mean, because you, you appreciate more, you, you appreciate stuff more once you get out there and you earn it yourself. Like when the song you know, say, God yeah. bless the child that has his own. Yeah. Well, I didn't have on for a very long time. Yeah. So I'm just saying for me, I mean, you know, I understand about this money situation. Hey, I, I don't mind you coming in and helping out a little bit. I'm just saying. But I'm with it. I'm a very independent person. Yeah, exactly. So I know that my mouth being tapered down to shut to be able to have all these lavish things probably won't work well for me at all. Oh, no. But yeah. isn't that the ladies, aren't you ladies like room to do that though? Like, like you guys are brought up to be dependent on your man. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. not, but now y'all talking about all this independence and guys are doing something for you and you lose your independence and now you're giving shit back. Like We talking about material stuff. You, yeah. What you're talking about is more on a, a physical, spiritual, family aspect. What you talking about is God, man, woman, child. The divine order. Correct? When a woman is supposed to depend on her man. Mm -hmm. It's not like that in 2013. It might have been like that in 1950, 1940, 1930, and 2013. It ain't like that. No. And then, you know, it's a big difference. And then you have the, you don't have the men stepping up to that role to be oh, able no. to depend on them for they that. They out there. They out there, but I'm telling you, it's a lot of them that's not. So we're going to speak on both of them. Yeah. So, you know. They out there, but shit, they all gone. I wish I was sit up here and wait. They out there, but they all gone. They take it. They, they are, those, yeah, they're they are the in off the market. They off the market. No, no. Not all of them, but if they are on the market, they I mean, not yeah. they not looking to do that right now. Because they've they done it for someone, and she didn't appreciate it. There you go. 
Yeah. Somebody oh, yeah. in scoring. They are marked. Yeah. So, so now we gotta go through the whole. But if you out there, boo, I'm right here. And yeah. I'm over here too. Yeah, that's all I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I cook, clean, I work. You got dredge in here, but keep them neat. No dredge. No dredge. No dredge. <laughs> no no dread, no gold teeth, and no steady pants. But it, it still takes some kind of companionship. It ain't. It ain't gonna never. No, you, you, we wouldn't put on this earth yeah. to be by ourselves. No, it's that. No, I'm, it's no, that. I'm saying it takes more than just somebody having money. So let, 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 and let me make this clear, because you know I don't want no one to think that I've ever contradicted myself. When I say about the money, I mean for security. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to work till I retire. Don't get that wrong. But if something, if something fall off, and you know something happen, I become mm -hmm. let's say get laid off. I know that my baby over there can handle us down. You know, instead of 50-50 or whatever we right. agreed yeah. to, he got that. I'm not stressed out because I was the only person. Able to do it, you see what I'm saying? I'm not doing 50 feet, I'm doing 70 30. I'm just saying, it depends on how we work. I mean, I'm saying, he, you 70, he 30? Oh, hell no, he's 70, I'm 30. I mean, if he make it six, it depends on how I am. Right, I'm just joking. It I'm depends on how I work, it depends on how we're gonna get that together. I mean, that's the goal. Yeah. It's not set in stone, but when I say, Boy, money that is ain't secure. a man right now, man. <laughs> It's negotiable, Phil. <laughs> when you hit this man. And he need to put it in writing. We need some security. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all for the most part women we're looking for security. I mean, it's nice to have the lavish things and that comes at a price because you may feel like if you buy me all these gifts and things, it's a certain image or I may have to be Barbie for you mm -hmm. and not have a voice and things of that nature. So, you know, I but, just want to make sure. When you, when you put it out there, not saying you, mm -hmm. but when women put it out there that they strictly about money, they do the brain of money. But that don't mean you mean anything to him. Wait. It's, it's, it's something that don't mind throwing the money on him. That's true. He's bringing the money, but is he bringing the love? That's, right. that's what I'm saying. But it's money yeah. plus. It's, it's just yeah. not just the money. It's money plus, yeah. you know. Because you can be ugly and have all that money, but then you just talk regular and I don't want to deal with you, so I can keep working. Right. So, right. yeah, it, it is some others to it. You know, I joke around with the money thing, but I mean security. Yeah. You know, uh, every, yeah I mean, I the men want money. security, yeah. too. Not yeah, as the women. Cool. Everybody wants to be in the secure relationship. Right, right. No, I mean, men, men are, are basically real simple, man. Most men are. We just want somebody to come home to that's not a bunch of drama. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all we look for. We want companionship. We need you to be there when we need you. So if you I go in the room and text you, I'll tell you that I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the other room. I'm in the other room. Yeah, I mean, don't, <laughs> don't text me from the other room. <laughs> talking to your girlfriend, I don't have to be right up on you. Because I don't want to hear all that, that you're talking about. You know what I mean? You ain't got to come check on me every five minutes to see what I'm doing. Go ahead, talk to your girlfriend. I'm, I'm going to be right here when you feel. <laughs> I have someone who want me to sit right up under them or they want to come sit right beside me while they talking to the girlfriend. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Well, you know what, what I mean? But what you doing to these women when she feel like she can't give you five seconds of free? No, nah, it ain't what I'm doing to them. It's what they done been through probably before they met me. Like, if you couldn't trust him, that don't mean you can't trust him. Oh, and you right there, she can't trust him? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what the reason was. I don't know if she want to keep an eye on me or she won't be that. She trying to have their attention in mind, too. I don't know what He trying to put that back on one. He doing yeah. something. He doing something. I'm chilling like I'm doing now. You know, mm -hmm. you know they say the quiet, but you got to watch. Mm -hmm. I ain't never been quiet. But you quiet. You quiet when they can't go off. Yeah, that does I'm always thinking. Uh, that's why she checking on me. Yeah. Because I'm always thinking. She wants to know what's going on. You share it? No, she better talk to her girlfriend. But you know, there are some women that will not even talk to their girlfriends while they're home with their man. They call, they call you when they on, you know, at work or they out and about. But when they home with their man, you won't hear a peep from them. Yeah, I don't want to hear it either. I mean, they don't call their girlfriends. They don't talk to nobody when they home with their man. That's not cool. I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's cool either. because you get because then if she picks up the phone and call her girlfriend, <laughs> something's wrong. Something out of the normal. You know what I'm saying? Like don't call them if things uh, wrong. No, I'm saying. I, I mean, I me personally, I want you to have some friends. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like to do everything. Like and I want you to talk to him in yeah, front of me, yeah. not behind me. What you yeah, talking? Why yeah, you can't yeah, talk to him in front of me? 
you call the suspension. Oh, you talk to him on the phone. What y'all talking about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it depends. It depends. Now, if we go on through some things and you run in the room and close the door and, and all that, yeah, of course. But I'm saying, for the most part, you don't have to bother me. I know y'all y'all like to do certain things that we don't we don't really care for. You know what I mean? Like what? I don't nah, the, the thing she was saying, like the people, her friends, she, you got a woman and she not talking, she don't talk to nobody at your, y'all at home together, y'all chilling. Right. And she, she don't talk to her friends at all. Because she at home. Because well, she's at home too. She's not talking to her friends at, at all. Yeah. Right. But at work or when she runs to the store or whatever, she, out, she talking she to her friends. But when she get home, she just go off, but she ain't gonna talk like, to her. Nah, don't, don't do that because for real, for real, if a man does that and I put my phone up and don't answer my phone or whatever, it's an issue. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I think it's, it's, it should be vice versa. Like, of, of course, talk to your friends. I mean, yeah, I mean I'm saying don't, don't not talk to them because of me. I don't care what you do. You That's know the point. Yeah, yeah but we have lots of them. I know it's many times that if I don't want to talk to whoever calls me, no, it's going to go right. off me. You know what I mean? Right. If you feel a certain way about it, I don't care. But what about, you know what these, mean? Women? What about these women? Uh, you got your man and he crazy. You can't talk on the phone. <laughs> what about them? I mean, when did you find out he was crazy? <laughs> right. And if you know he's crazy, why are you still there? Hold on now, hold on now. No, I'm just saying, if, if a person been a certain way it's for 20, 30 years or 40 years, he's not he's not going to change. Yeah, absolutely. If he's been, he been crazy for 20 years, he's he, he going to pretty much stay crazy. And, that, and those those women who are in that dependent stage. Right, I'm just saying, you, you can't let nobody control you. That's a form of control. But you got you got a lot of women who do now. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't say that. And then that goes out. I think it's just certain insecurities that they have that right. they feel that's, like they need to have that type of relationship or stay in that relationship. Right. relationship. That's, 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 that's that don't make the self-esteem. You know, it could be other numerous things, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know somebody like that. Somebody, like everybody knows somebody. Somebody very, very close. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people like that. I know some men that if they don't have a woman, they they be better go crazy. Mm. But no, you got to learn how it is with yourself yeah. by yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know a lot of guys that jump from one relationship to another one. Doc, give yourself some time to get over a relationship <laughs> with before you try to move on. And people need to do that in general. Women do. Uh, I was you know told I mean? that um, most men do that to get over. No, I mean, it's, 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 it's a saying that we always say. Oh, like, okay. The best way to get over a one woman to go get another one. But oh, okay. we're talking about feelings. Your feelings ain't going to go over. Oh. You know what I mean? So you, you might you might go have sex with one of them. That shit don't feel good for the time you have sex. Really? So soon as you finish your feeling come right soon back. Soon as you open your eyes and see her. You know, I mean it ain't it ain't about that. It depends on, it depends on the situation and what uh -oh. happened. You know what I mean? Like anybody that you done dealt with for a period of time, you're not gonna your feeling not just gonna go somewhere just because y'all broke up. So, you know so, what I mean? So what so so can I change the subject? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, so what? So what do? What do you, Paul? What do you think about people who backtrack? Oh no. I feel like they go through that because they haven't. They yeah, want to get away, but then they ain't find about to really do that, and they just get a little insecure and they want to go back. I mean, you know, they just what they miss it. They know they can get that from what it was, even if it was a bad situation. They'll go back to. I ain't back. I, well, I haven't backtracked. Have you backtracked? I have backtracked. Backtrack, yeah. Huh? But Why? It, was, it wasn't the same. So, it was different. Yeah. What was different? I mean, it depends on, on the reason why we broke up. You know what I mean? Once I see you on the story, like, like if you lie to me, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. If you lie to me or cheat on me, it ain't, I'm not, I'm not, I probably won't trust you no more anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be to the point where I won't be hounding you or constantly throwing it up in your face, but I know in the back of my mind, if something ain't routine, I'm like, oh, uh, what's she up to now? So it ain't, it ain't no need to be stepping back into it. Yeah, cause I, I, I got an uncle who uh, married my aunt, well, well his wife, divorced him, and then he went and married her ass again. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it depends. It depends, but it depends on the relationship. Sometimes and, and divorced her again. Yeah, I mean, cause when you when you step away from a situation. You sit back and you look at that situation. Right. So it might be something that you felt like that you could have did better that'll make you go back and try it again. And of course, if y'all get back together, just like any relationship, the first couple of months, whatever, oh, it's going to be magical. But then when reality is set in, hey man, the, the, what you left on the first time, it, it hits you right again because people are who they are. 
Now, it's going to be something about everybody you date that you don't like. And it's going to be something about you that they don't like. Right. It's all about who you can tolerate and who can tolerate you. And then what it was, like you said, that made y'all break up. It was something that was unforgivable to you or something that was like your, your deal breaker. Like, I can't go back to that because that's how I was going to sit right. there. But if it was something that's like, you know, misunderstanding, something that's fixable, and you guys had good chemistry, and it worked good. What's I like on? that word, deal breakers. Name some for each of you guys. Oh, outside babies. Done. Outside babies. Done. <laughs> With you. That's tough. We break up and six months later, like my situation, she pregnant. No, I'm talking about if I go out and have a baby on you, I'm gonna leave you. If you go out and have a baby on me, then you, you ain't gotta worry about me. Yeah. You know, no, it's, it's, it's a woman to take it now. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, it is a I, I actually know someone, um, my first love, he, he's married now um, to a, the chick he was cheating on me with. They've been together for years. It's been like 20 years. That's a good job. That's what did that. Yeah, and, but, that was good like I told her, if he do it to me, he gonna do it to you. He cheated on her too. Went out, had a baby. But she took it though. She was smiling with him. She forgave him. She did what she had You well, know, they should no, raise it, boy. It's called karma. She raised him. Some people believe in karma. Thank you. Karma She's raising him. She, he's, he's like 17. She took that baby because the girl he was cheating with, she didn't want him. Okay. And she didn't want the baby. I mean, just like just like if a woman, if I know you got a man or a husband or whatever, and you cheat with me, mm -hmm. I oh, very yeah. seriously doubt me. Mm -hmm. I can never trust you as being my own. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't respect the man that you have, I'm not here to say that, I'm not here to think that I'm better than him to the point where you ain't gonna do it to me. I, I don't mess with your nature, it's, it's in your nature. I don't mess with other people's goods. It's just, it's nothing good gonna come out of that. Oh, wine and men. Wine and men. Oh, a deal breaker. Wine and men. Oh, girl. Oh, what she man. Talking wine. About? Wine and men. Complaining because you ain't got time for him. You can spend time with your girls, but you ain't got time for him. Hold oh, on, now wait a minute. Now, that used to be a big issue with y'all when y'all say he always hang with your boy. Wait, we're 2013 and now. Oh, okay. We're 2013. So it's cool because now y'all want to hang no, with your girls. No, it's not cool for a man to be whining. I think no, you guys need to have separate, separate. You need to have outside separate. activities from you and your relationship. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you need to, like you said, you need to have a phone call. You need to talk to your homeboys. Yeah. You need to go somewhere because I don't need to be seeing you for 24 hours. Right. So, you know, that's fine. That's good for us. But whining. I mean, you know, if something goes, you ain't got no backbone in you. That that's a deal breaker. Oh dear, you, your back gotta be straight. Yeah, uh, no, no. straight back. Whining, uh, straight. Straight back up, real quick. Straight back. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you gotta have a hustle in you, that hustle mentality. I mean, it's just like I've been raised by some real strong women that did a lot on their own for themselves. So when when I'm out there hustling harder than you, it's a problem. That's a deal breaker. Cause you're a man, I feel like I hold you up here. You can't, you supposed to make sure we straight. Right. I mean, but anybody can, can go through something. You can go through something, but I don't think you whine for two and a half years. Okay. How, how long we I gonna mean, go through this? If you don't whine for two and a half years, you probably don't cry, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm whining for two and a half years, don't cry, man. If he whining with you, he whining well too. Yeah. No, I don't understand. Things happen, but yeah. But that don't happen. Where the hell come in here now? Come in because. One thing about women, uh, the truth is a secret. I'm going to let y'all men in on the secret. <clears throat> if you got a man, first, y'all don't like to rewind, nag, and bother y'all. Okay, I can understand that. But when a man is doing it to us, it's a problem. Yeah, I'm not going to Okay, so I'm not going to stay with your ass if you whine. You're going to move to the next woman, and trust me. Like you said, he ain't going to change. He whine and love too. But guess what's going to happen to that dude? You gonna see him five years later, and he's still whining to somebody. I mean, that, that's just who you. Yeah, that's who you. Whining. But that, that that come with a lot of a lot of men out there to raise their sons. Yeah. And one thing I tell women all the time: you cannot teach your son how to be a man. Mm -hmm. Now, the best you can do is probably teach him what to expect, that, yeah. I mean, or what women expect from a man. Right. But you cannot teach him how to be a man. Right. You know what I mean? So if it ain't nobody there to show him how to be a man, who he? He ain't gonna just turn into one because you dating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't care how much you try to preach to him or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna happen. They can't get some cheese for that wine. I mean. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Just like me and I started gossiping too much. Oh, oh y'all yeah, been doing that. Bitch nah. assness. That yeah. word came about because a lot of that went going on. That they been, I used to work at um it's a, it used to be a bar shop. I was the only female there. Mm. Um and it was called 112 Cuts. It's like 12 barbers there. Mm. Only female. Please. You talking about gossip oh, women and catty gossiping, yeah. Uh, they told y'all y'all ain't gonna get it in. One women, they tell every last detail down to the this I mean, but women talk too now. When y'all with y'all girls, y'all y'all talk to no, I'm, I'm too much when I say gospel, I'm too much just constantly talking about nothing. You know what I mean? Now if it's if, if it's all men and we sitting there around having boy talk, that's something different. Where's the boy talking? Yeah, well, I'm talking like, just like just like girls talk. Oh, okay. I'm saying, I'm saying, we talk about the stuff that we did with too. We talk I know, about I heard it. it. Yeah, I know, I just y'all do the same thing. Yeah, but I was just shocked like, hey, all twelve of them men talk about what? Yeah, and they end up fighting. Cause I don't know what happened. Yeah, they don't talk about 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 what happened. Yeah, they don't well, I knew all she ain't nothing wrong with it. I knew baby mamas and the girlfriends. Yeah. I was taught you don't bother your man when he at work. When he work, you don't bother. Let him make his money. What would he fall through? Who fall through a job for? Yeah, why y'all fall through a job? Shit, I ain't fall. I ain't got time for I ain't got no time for I don't know why they do it. I'm at work 12 hours. What do they, yeah. what they do? Wait a minute, stop going on your man's job, yeah. man. Stay Stay on. Your baby daddy. He ain't with it no more. If she got that kind of time, she need to find her something. She need to work somewhere. She need to find her something else to do, baby. Yeah. I couldn't be no man. I'd be in jail. Yeah, why you gonna be in jail? <laughs> choked out, choked out, punched out. She wouldn't come back to my job. So you'll be an abusive man. <laughs> Pretty much. Lay, lay, lay in hands. Yeah. Ain't no matter. I don't put your hands on. I do. Choke her out, slap her out. I bet she won't come back. I mean, she if, if she get slapped out, I hope she wouldn't yeah, want to come back. And that's the first man. class. Why are you going to the man job? Yeah, like I said, old school talk. Oh, you can't shut out on that job. Yeah, you messing up the man money then. Yeah, don't mess with We just said we want security. You popping up. Yeah. Messing up the security. Yeah. I want to slap up for you. No, I ain't doing that. Yeah. She what? She ain't got no time. She got too much time. She need to go to school or something. Yeah, no, she need to get on her time. She need to do something else. But she might be the, hey, he might be that one that got long money and she doesn't have to do anything. Well, she ain't a fix if she if he got all money and you ain't gotta do nothing, that's when you take the time to take your butt back to school and, and create your own stuff to do. But she ain't got get no, you a business. She ain't got no friends in the head telling her, you know, help out. With I'm telling you, get you a business. Take that money and we can get you a business. Sit down, I'll take you a class. Learn how to write some grants or something. Yeah. Find you something. Take your money and be in your business. Then, hey, there you if go. you want long, he got all money and he can help you do that. Do it. That's your scholarship. If he can send you to school, go. No, let me ask you this. Do he, do he get the right to be a, a partner in your business? Yeah, why not? Because of his money? I mean. That's negotiable. Yeah, it's negotiable. That's negotiable? Wait, if he's going to take his money and be in your business, but he can't be a wait, partner. Wait, she ain't business. taking it. He's giving it to me. He's him. giving it to me. It's a gift. You it's know that it's in court. I'm winning it. It's a gift. Antoine, Antoine Walker bankrupt and he gave Evelyn a whole bunch of money. She got her business. I'm sorry for giving those names. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can edit that out. Maybe. I got to look at it again. Wait, wait, okay. Out. So he bankrupt now and she got the money. Yeah. Is she sharing the money with him? No. No. Oh, well, that's now. That's what I'm talking about. Whoever he just named. I mean, cause basically, basically that could have been an investment. Karma you know is something I mean? else. That could have been an investment. Let me rephrase that. An NBA basketball player goes bankrupt and, you know, the, his fiance, you know, he gave his fiance a whole bunch of money and now his fiance is doing well, opened a couple of businesses and doing well for herself. And she's not with him anymore? No. He should have married her. That was a dumb move, player. But hey, you was not studying the game, boo. I'm sorry. Your financial planner didn't help you at all with that one. But no, if a man with a woman, his financial plan probably ain't got nothing to do with Wait, that. wait, we just had this. He didn't marry her. He should have right. married her. I'm saying, but you know how you got a guy that was buying you rain rubbers, you didn't marry him. That's what I'm saying. The financial plan ain't going to have to do with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, wait, and I gave him his stuff back. I didn't take nothing from him, come up off of it, and walk away from him. Mm -hmm. 
So you might as well, if you don't take his money, I'm saying, you might as well make him a partner. That way you won't feel like you're doing it wrong. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about yeah. September. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if I'm doing all the hard work and you were just a sponsor, I mean, what, you know, using a business agreement, you know, if you come in and you kind of help with me, that's not a 30% deal. What you think? You expect to be a 50 I mean, I'm just saying. He financed it. He, 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 financed. he financed the whole thing. Operation. I'm just saying. We, we, he financed the operation. Put some numbers down and stuff like that. Negotiate. Well, I'm, he, 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 nah, I'm just saying. They have to be 50 50. I just said, oh, pay off a partner. Okay. Do I feel like he should be 50 50? Yes. 70. It's, it's his money, your knowledge. It but, take both. We we take. But we ain't married. And we'll take But it was his money, your knowledge. Right, but you don't even want to get 50-50, I'm just going to say that. Wait, uh, we're, we're a team, his money, my knowledge, it need to be in a document. It does. Because anybody can walk away from it. But see, they have that show to where people come up with the ideas and all they need is the backing money to right. start up. Shark Tank. Shark Tank. They don't get, I mean, they, they offer they certain advantages. They put it in writing up. We want to handle that like that. But well, this is, this is, look, I'm saying, y'all, this is not Shark Tank. This is the we're going to handle it. Y'all, y'all, I'm well, saying, if y'all in a relationship. Yeah, that is a Shark Tank. And we going to handle that just as a business. But, now, but most of the people on Shark Tank already have a business and they're already up and yeah. running as well. Yeah, they, They've already invested in their business. And they are investors for a living. Yeah. That's what they do. You know what I mean? But the sharks who invest the money, you know what I mean? They're just helping push the business or grow the business. He's helping me get my business started. I see when a man come up with a prenup before he get married, we wrong. I don't have no problem with it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it depends on how we gonna do it. If we build anything together, yeah, we yeah. you will split that to half and half. But if you oh, already, oh, well, it, it depends. Huh? What if what if you the breadwinner in the relationship, and you you been, I mean, whatever. You ain't got no kids. I'm just saying. You just been. Oh yeah, I brought that baby out. It's a wrap. I'm saying you you his woman. Now whatever y'all acquire by y'all married. Yes. Yes. You feel like you should get fifty percent. Yes. Yes. But he shouldn't get 50% if you taking his money and building your own business. And we not married. Them double standards, man. We gonna get on them double standards. We were married. Man. It don't matter. It does matter. It don't matter. We gonna have a legal binding thing. Whatever we do, we gonna make a legal binding. You're not gonna get 50%, but once we are legally so married. If, if, nine times out of ten, most people, when they're in a relationship, they not really sitting here thinking about, well, okay, we're gonna sign a contract for our business. They do it, they got money. Uh, I mean, I'm they talking, do it, they uh, got money. Not all of them. If a man is into you, and that man want to see you get somewhere, he ain't thinking about, oh, me, hey, before we do this, you better sign this contract. Yeah. A man just going to do for you because he, cause he chooses to. And let the housewives can Pre-dump. Yeah, but see, it's cool when she want to pre-dump. Mm-hmm. But then when a man want to pre-dump, I don't have a problem with pre it depends on the conditions of my plan. Because my thing is, your money is your money before you met me. I'm not trying to take your money from me that you had before me. But when we get together and we get married and we build, I do believe that should be split up. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. I don't know nobody. He had, I, if I was a millionaire, right, before I met you, yeah. we get married. Uh-huh. You're not a millionaire, no. right? We get married. And whatever happens, we start our own business. We do something, and we the, get divorced. You tell me I can't take fifty percent of what we started together? No, no, no. We ain't start shit. We ain't start no business. We ain't do and, nothing. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm still a million. I'm still doing exactly what I've been doing yeah, I, I, to I, get my million. I don't need your help to do shit. You ain't help me get my million. You want me shooting in? The, you want with me shooting in the gym? That's fine. But I was in there making sure you was practicing after you got out of the shit. That's okay. We gonna make sure you do something with this. I'm talking about the after part. So I mean, I do, and even with these. People, these celebrities getting married, and you know these these wives trying to take half of the money that you ain't put in on that stuff. He did way before you. I don't. I mean, I'm with that. I don't agree with that. You you can't take that man when he built and he put his time to sweat. But what we have once we got married. Okay, so so I got a hundred million dollars, yeah. right? I got a hundred million dollars, and then you and I get married, mm-hmm. right? We start a business together. Our business make two million dollars. Okay. Right? Yep. And now we want to divorce. Our little business done made two million. Yeah. So now I'm worth a hundred and two million dollars. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me you deserve half of my hundred and two? No. Or you deserve half of that little two million dollars? Right, two million, got? which we built together. Yeah. That's okay. What I'm okay. Saying. I'm saying right. I'm right. 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 That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna take that money back down. All right. But if I didn't pop that baby, I'm gonna get way more than that. I'm not popping out no baby. I'm getting some insurance, life insurance. You can walk off if you want to, boo. You don't want to marry me, and, and that is a requirement to be in a committed relationship with me and not be married to me. Like you gotta have insurance on you. 
damn skip because it's something happened to your ass. You walk out that door and I have given you my time. Your family can come and take all your stuff. And I'm going to have no say so. Hey man, hold, hold that thought. That's no topic. We go on there. Hey man, this last right there, this get deep in there, man. It's all about that paper and that life insurance, man. Yeah. You better step your game up, man. It's live from the dead. Black boy, Paula, Big D, man. It's going down, player. We'll be back.